next at 10. A new Netflix series called 13 Reasons Why is sparking conversations and a lot of concerns. Our Carrie Larson learned from mental health professionals, therapists, and suicide prevention experts that parents should be talking to their teens about this show. She joins us now with why this is so important. Yeah, Eric and Charlotte, you know, these experts believe the series actually has the ability to put teens at risk. There are scenes that depict very real, very graphic, and very tragic incidents, including one that's getting worse every year and is hard to talk about. Hey. Hey. In a TV show sweeping the nation, 17-year-old Hannah introduces you to 13 people in her life who she says caused her death by suicide. Why didn't you say this to me when I was alive? One of the big top topics of conversations, they actually show the lead character in her suicide attempt. And generally, the best practice is you don't, you don't show that. Experts are worried the graphic scene will trigger teens to have suicidal thoughts. Licensed therapists Andrea Vogel and Melissa Walden have already seen it among their patients. Many of them were very open about it, saying that it absolutely triggered them and activated some really strong feelings, and some of them did act out on behaviors as a result of it. It may have taken this series to spark a major conversation about teen suicide, but it's been a growing concern for several years now. You know, on average, we lose probably about one teen to suicide per week in the state of Wisconsin. With youth, uh, we see a lot more attempts. Shell Gross says deaths by suicide or suicide attempts more often happen among teens struggling with mental health. We do know that people, especially with depression, bipolar disorder, those what we call affective disorders that affect the mood, uh, make one especially vulnerable. A national study shows from 2008 to 2015, the percentage of children ages 5 to 17 hospitalized for attempting suicide or having suicidal thoughts has doubled. Local suicide prevention trainer Jean Papalia says these statistics should be concerning, but 13 Reasons Why may be opening the door for a change. Have we started a discussion and we're actually looking at people who may have risk factors and are actually seeking help, which would be great. She says any positive action can help save a life. For parents, it could be as simple as asking your child if they're okay. Someone who's thinking about suicide really is not necessarily looking to die. They're looking for an end to this terrible pain that they're having, the emotional pain. But there are ways to make it a proactive conversation. It's very powerful to say to someone, I'm on your side. I want you to live. We can get through this. Here's some ways Vogel and Walden suggest talking to your teen about this topic. Ask your child if they've seen the series. Chances are they have, but approach the question in a non-judgmental or accusing way. Tell me what you thought of it. How did that affect you? What did you think? Then listen to what they have to say, acknowledging the conversation is difficult for you too. It's going to feel strange and it's, it's going to feel um, a little awkward, but it can really save their life. And maybe even sit down and watch the series with them, answering questions along the way, like Walden did with her daughter. It allowed us to talk about what happens when you're underage drinking, or what happens when you go to a party and parents aren't there, what happens if you're witnessing a sexual assault, what do you do, um, what happens if, you know, if things just don't go according to plan, and how you can respond in those situations. Experts say it's important to remember asking these questions will not put ideas in their head. There's a myth that says if you talk about suicide, you'll put the idea in someone's head and nothing could be further from the truth. But a show like this could, one many believe missed the mark on the real message of teen suicide. It's Hannah. This is, you know, Hollywood. And uh, they seem to have missed all the important things about the message of hope, of getting help. Um, the fact that most people reach out and are supported. It's important to know there are several places to find resources, like the Dane County Mental Health Association. They have a 24-7 emergency number that you can call. There's also a national suicide hotline and a suicide hotline specifically for teenagers. You can find a list of ways to engage with your teen about this show at preventsuicidewi.org slash media. And since the concerns have surfaced, Netflix has now more warnings attached to the episodes. It also announced yesterday there will be a second season of 13 Reasons Why that will be released in 2018. To help viewers get answers to any questions that they may have about suicide or suicide mm -hmm. prevention, we're actually going to be live on 
WISD's Facebook page with Jean Papalia, who we saw in this story, the suicide prevention expert. And she's going to offer some advice and answer any questions that anyone has. So make sure to join us in a couple minutes for that. Right, we'll be starting that live stream mm -hmm. just in a few minutes yeah. during the break. So please join us. Carrie, excellent job. Thank you so much. Thank you.